painting, you've probably seen it. If you've seen my content and videos generally, you've probably seen this at some point. Karina painted this back in 2019 while she was still pregnant with our second son. I got this Mario shell. I got this Mario Lego set. Lego Mario Maybe you've seen him. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so here's what Nate and I are thinking. What if the wall was scrolling like the actual game, like the old arcade Mario game? And so I would have a GameCube controller. I'd plug it into like a custom 3D printed mount that we put on top of this. Suddenly the, the wall has like this lich effect and then I'm playing, I'm playing the wall. Um, and everything's working fine, so there's gotta be something like they... There's no Koopas in there. What if you like, you drew one in and then boom, shell. Comes out and hits you. That's ya. amazing. And then boom, it hits the wall and now it spins out into the real world. Like maybe hits me in the head or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think there needs to be a bigger punchline than that though. I just want it to be sort of funny, but maybe just clever. Right? So whatever it is, the, mm -hmm. the punchline of the video is just a clever moment of some sort. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, that's it. That's it. I'm like working, right? And then I hear Kare we hear Karina's voice in the video like, Hey babe, how's work going? And I'm like, oh shoot, I'm like trying to pause it. So mm -hmm. I come up here to like kind of swipe it back to where it was. I turn around, the door opens. Boom, presses me on the wall. You don't see me though. And Karina's like, close the door. And then I'm like smushed on the wall like as a painting. Now the question, do I physically need myself painted on a piece of paper? You've done something like that before. I have? I think so, where you've turned yourself into a piece of paper. I haven't done that yet, have I? You've done something like I that. Not yet. What I was thinking is not doing a photo, having maybe Karina commissioning my brother or something actually paint out even a digital painting mm -hmm. of me to match the style. What's up? You busy? Uh, um, no, not really at the moment. Okay, I have a question. Do you think you could create an 8-bit version of my body? Okay. Well, Probably take a little bit of Thanks, bud. Yeah. All right, no problem. All right, talk to you later. Bye. It's me. My brother Austin went ahead and created this 8-bit wonder in Photoshop. I went ahead and got it printed out at FedEx. And then Nate, who's behind the camera, go to flip the camera around so they can see you real quick. Huh. That works. They cut this out yesterday. Now it's ready for show time. Here's a quick rundown of what we're about to do. I'm about to go through my to-do list. Come over here, grab my GameCube controller, plug it in my 3D printed GameCube controller mount. Karina painted this yesterday. Ding! Did you could add a ding right there. Ding! And I'm playing. Karina calls for me. Ah! Come over here, fix the wall. Oh no! Boom! Smushed. Set up this 8-bit version of me. We're gonna connect it to this fishing wire right here. I'm gonna run it all the way to this corner right here and I'm gonna be like... Like that. That'll be pulling that 8-bit character off the wall and it's gonna kinda, kinda just fall off the wall into the ground and we'll call it a wrap. Wait, I can do the same pose. Hold on. Alright, I think we're good. I think we actually shoot the real thing now. Three, two. One, action. Oh, shoot! No, wait, hold on. Okay, okay one second! Caleb? Oh. Okay, felt good? Did it look good? Let's keep going. Just let's not touch anything so nothing moves except for the door. The door's okay to move. Good. Do you see the, the little things of Heidi? Right about there, honestly. <laughs> Alright, oh, oh. oh no! Now, now he decides to fall. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we did it! Let's see. We're done. Let's look. Oh, the lens cap was on. No. I went ahead and isolated all the different elements from my wife's painting so I could populate the entire level one. Now for things like Mario, the Goomba, the coin, the breakable block, those had to be animated separately. I did this by chroma keying out the character, masking out just the part I needed, and then finding loopable parts that I could just loop over and over again. I then animated these characters as needed to do this. With this fully created world now, I was able to use it as a 3D layer, track it onto the scene, and then put it where the actual wall was. For this ripple effect right here, I actually did this inside of Blender. I created a fake 3D wall, projected the texture onto it, and then gave it this warp effect, and that's what you're seeing here. One of the most critical parts of this video was getting the transition right from me behind the door being squished to the 8-bit version of me. Position, scale, rotation, all the transformations had to be aligned. Nate was moving freely, so there was a little bit of a parallax change, so I used the puppet tool here to give a rough 
estimate of where the foreground element should be. And at this point, you have pretty much a clean getaway. Now with all these wall elements in place, I still had to put myself and the outlet and the wire for the controller all in front of the fake wall. And with all those things in place, here's what we got. This video would not have been possible without all the help I had. Thank you everybody for watching this video, and if you wanna see other things like this, make sure you subscribe below.